Let's take a look at the topics that you're going to see on your exam and exactly the kinds of questions and even what kind of percentage weight or load on these questions that you're going to get. First of all, and we'll organize the course in this same kind of order, you're going to get questions on configuring DNS for Active Directory. Now roughly this is going to be about 16% of the questions you get. So let's say that theoretically if you get 100 questions on the exam you can expect to see around 16 of them that have to do with DNS and its Active Directory interaction. The next area that you're going to see is configuring the Active Directory infrastructure and that's going to be about 25% of the questions and this will have to do with you know understanding forest domains, configuring trust, understanding the trust between them, shortcut trusts, uh, configuring sites, uh, understanding what a site is, uh, Active Directory replication, some issues with that, uh, the global catalog, understanding what that is and configuring it, and then your operations masters and we'll talk about all that stuff as we go through here. Then you're also going to be questioned on configuring your Active Directory server roles and that's about 9% and that's going to have to do with things like the lightweight directory service, the read-only domain controllers, some of those other things but anyway we'll cover those things. From there you can expect to see questions about creating and maintaining your Active Directory objects and of course that is going to have to do with users, uh, groups, all that sort of thing, distribution lists. Uh, we're going to talk about how to maintain those Active Directory accounts and resetting the accounts, disabling versus deleting. Then we'll talk a lot about group policy. Group policy falls into this category and we'll talk about what group policy is, creating group policy objects and applying them and so forth. Then we'll actually get into managing the Active Directory environment and this will be such things as backup and recovery, offline maintenance, monitoring Active Directory and so forth. Then we'll get into configuring Active Directory certificate services. We'll explain things about CA hierarchies and so forth and as you can see there's a lot of things that you're going to have to be aware of on this exam so you're going to have to even in addition to this class go through some fairly systematic study take some practice exams and look and see what areas you're weak or you're getting confused on but you can see here these are the areas that you're going to be tested on you can kind of weight your testing on this and these are the areas you want to pay close attention to and make sure that you have a good thorough understanding and a lot of hands-on experience in each one of these areas. 